people of the Philippines and people of the world, hit the button below and you will be subscribing to the Boy Abunda Talk channel on YouTube. Let's keep talking. Kaibigan, tuloy ang usap. Abraham, Mimi, maraming salamat. Thank you for inviting us. Thank you for being here. Maraming salamat po. So, umpisahan natin dito, kumusta ka? Mabuti naman ako, Kuya Boy. Nakakatuwa. Ang tagal-tagal-tagal natin hindi nagkikita, pero may mga klase ng pagiging magkaibigan na kahit hindi nagkikita, magkadugtong ang puso. That's true. Kunting pagbabalik tanaw lang, nakita ko si Michelle. This is before she left for El Salvador. You know, I was supposed to do some sessions with her on Q&A, which I do for a lot of beauty queens in the country. But I said, you don't need it. Kayang-kaya mo. Pero sabi ko, haluan mo lang ng konting mimilani. Noong lumabas na siya yung 20, final 20, sa swimwear, yes. sabi ko, yan! Actually, nagulat din ako. Kinkilabutan ako. ako I was ngayon. watching her. Uh -oh. Sabi ko, hindi ko nakita ito kay Michelle ngayon. Kasi lagi yung sinasab sa akin, I'll just surprise you, ma. You don't have to know. You'll see me. I was just so happy. Actually, I'm very happy with Michelle. My daughter really worked very hard. Your expectation ko. Nalagpasan niya. Sabi ko, wow. And the public shared that opinion with you. Hindi naman tayo ma-illusion na nabansa. Kaya marami ang nag-nais na sana'y makapasok siya dun sa top five because of that amazing, extraordinary performance. Anak, sabi ko, pag gumawa ka ng trabaho mo, pag ginawa mo trabaho mo, kailangan meron kang marka. Iba talaga pag original ka, hindi ka nila kakalimutan. Noong mga kapanahonan that you were a supermodel, you were uh, on top of your career, may nagtuturo sa sa'yo nun? Maglakad, mag-project? Self-study lahat kasi tinitingnan ko yung ginagawa nila. Sabi ko, kailangan ibahin ko yung style ko para mapuna ako. Kahit yung pagta-turn ko, pinag-aralan ko talaga yun. Can you still do it now? <laughs> May tayo ka eh, nakakaiba, Mi Milani. Dito ka nga, and this is the camp. Yeah. How did you do it? Yan! Yeah, Kasi before, nung nag-start ako, mahilig sila mag-miss na ganyan. Kadalasan, no? Oo. Eh, ako, oh. I want to really look tall. Yun. Mga ganun ako. Oo. Oh, oh. Mahilig ako saka... ganun. Yes. Oh. Mahilig akong pumitik. <laughs> oh. Pumipitik na ako noon. Pati yung turning ko, pitik. At saka ikaw, paglalabas mo, halimbawa, ikot, ik yung, yung gumaganong ka? At naiiwan yung... Yun, yung ulo. Yes. Pinapractice mo talaga yun? Oo, pinapractice ko yun, Kuya Boy. Do you see your mom until now can, can really pose? Oh, no, she can. No, oh, she showed me. She showed me. It was, it was fantastic. No. Oh, oh. How does that turn happen? No, it's an lang. It's like this. It's very important. That's what I told Michelle, your posture. Importante ito. You have to look tall and you have to feel it. And then when you walk, ano na talagang taking my time so people will see me. And that smile of the girl. Yes. Hindi ko malilimutan yun. Thank you. Oh, are you watching, Adam? Oh yeah, no, I'm mesmerized. Yeah. <laughs> it's just beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. Kwentuhan mo ba ang mga anak mo sa iyong karera bilang modelo, bilang beauty queen? With my children, hindi ka nila maramdaman na celebrity ako. Because I'm always a mother to them, a friend. Gulat na lang si Michelle nung nalaman niya supermodel of the world ako. Tapos New York face of the 80. Nakita na lang nila yung mga cover. Like even my son doesn't know anything about me. So how are you reacting now that you're slowly learning who your mother was and is? Uh, you, you know, when you're growing up, you kind of get glimpses of it. But having to have the opportunity to really see how she was and how she is now um, really is inspiring to someone like me who's, uh, even though not following in the footsteps of pageantry, is following in the footsteps of potential modeling. <laughs> so have you had modeling jobs in the last few weeks? Last few weeks, we've been more of getting set up with the agencies. Okay. Gigs, they're going to be coming up pretty soon. You're getting to be the crush of a lot of girls. I <laughs> am. <laughs> yes. You know, a lot, a lot of girls are talking about Abraham. And uh, how are you reacting to this? 
You know, I just take it in humble steps. I just don't want to, you know, give a wrong impression. I mean, again, these are blessings. And yeah. I'm just very happy with the love that I'm receiving from them. And I really just want to share that. Well deserved. You know, when you go to a place and people start to recognize you, how are people reacting to you? How are people treating you? <laughs> Can I have a photo with you? <laughs> <laughs> It's just straight to that. <laughs> so I, I'm flattered by that, you know, it, it's nothing bad. It's just, you know, I, I really get surprised because when I was here four years ago, it wasn't like that. You know, I mean, a lot has changed and for the better. For the better. And even before this, I gather that you traveled the world uh, yeah. because of the mission? I, I traveled um, part of that, part of tennis, part of um, what my parents have done throughout their years. My mom and my mother travels so much and my father does as well. So uh, it's just a combination of family and prop my own work. Uh, in your last travels, what did you learn? I learned that I can't assume what a general amount of people are. I can't be racial. I can't be this or that. Everybody is different. And when you talk about being yourself, like who is yourself deep down in your core, that really stands out to me because it's true. Everybody is different, but what is the difference that catches everybody's attention? Mm -hmm. And you know, that's just what I noticed about many of the people that I've bumped into in my life of traveling, that everybody has an intelligent, incredible story that I wish I could just magnify for others to see, but you can only do so much, and honestly, I just take it as a learning experience for myself. Great. What makes it different is your truth, because you have a unique, peculiar story. Steve Jobs was the one who said that don't be caught uh, in that trap of living the life of someone else because you are who you are and we should be proud of who we are. It's so true and, and you know that's just something that I've just been really focusing on like in a deep way. Right. Uh, if we're really getting personal I mean it's funny how people say to me sometimes like these are just friends and such it's like oh you're trying to be someone different someone you're not it's like well to be honest I mean we have those kind of moments. We want to be someone who we believe is what we want to become, not what we think others don't want us to become. That's just like the real challenge. Totally understand that. Yeah, when people just challenge us, test us, and you just got to just show them that this is who I am. Right now, you know, I'm sure a lot of girls are watching. I would say, Abraham is so guapo. <laughs> Remember the last time you were in the studio? And then when you guys left, everybody was still saying, Oh my God, isn't he just so good looking? I thought they were saying, oh, isn't she so good looking? <laughs> <laughs> they were talking about Abraham. Of course, Michelle is somebody that uh, guys in uh, Gym A7 know because she's been there for quite a while. So they're all saying, ang guapo guapo naman ng Abraham na yun. <laughs> no, it, it's, it's definitely something I don't want to squander. I want to show them that I'm the like son that. of Melanie. I like that. I like that. You want to put that into good use. and. You want to work hard. And Kuyo Boy, he's not just good looking, he's a kind boy. He is. And he knows how to share the gospel as well. And I'm, I'm happy when my children do serve and, and spread and share the word of God. Pag-usapan natin ang Kapaskuhan. Your most memorable Christmas as a child, as a young girl, today, I mean, ano ang mga hindi mo malilimutang Pasko? I'm my mom. Kasi talaga mami ko, importante sa kanya Noche Buena. And we only share food na simple lang ha, hamon, chocolate, sopas, at saka cheese, queso de bola. E yun lang talagang hinahanda ng mami ko hanggang sa lumaki ako. Pero ang talagang sabi ng mami ko, I won, but at 24 of ano, December, kailangan dito ka. Kahit na nasa Europa, o talaga, I make it a point na nasa, nandito ako sa Pilipinas. Bumabalik ka. 24, oo, para lang saluhan ang mama ko. So, tatlo kami nagsasalo lang, simple lang. Pero, nandun yun, nakikita ko mami ko, masaya. Masa happy mami ko, masaya na ako. No? Pag Pasko, maliban sa mami, maliban sa Noche Buena, nung ikaw naman naging nanay, anong klase ng Pasko? It's really nice, mas happy kasi my husband, when it comes to Christmas, sa kanya lang ako natuto yung regalo na meron na sa Dispiras pa lang, meron pang peanuts, oh. meron pang ano, kung ano yung American style. Okay. So, kaya sabi kong ganun, iba, iba naman ngayon ang tradisyon namin. Pero ngayon, uh, Mimilani, pag binabalikan mo ang buhay mo, Ano yung matatawag mong 
the highs and the lows, you know, the, the highlights of your life? The highlights is having my children. Pag ako nangangana, talagang blessing sa akin yun. Yung loss naman, pag nasasaktan ako, siyempre, pag ako umibig kasi bigay, I always give my best. Nakita namin yun. <laughs> Sabi nga nila, walang, walang preno, walang control. Siyempre, pag nagmahal kayo, bibigay mo lahat. But pag ako tumalikod, yun na yun. So, ibig sabihin na puno na ako. But as much as possible, ang mga anak ko talaga nagbibigay sa akin ng kaligayahan. Nakakatuwa. Uh, ang tanong ko sa'yo ay highlights ng iyong buhay at karera. Ang sabi mo mga anak, nanay ka talaga. Yes, of course. Yun naman ang pangarap ko, Kuya Boy, eh. Nung meron akong pamilya ko kasi... Mula't mula. I came from a broken home. Yes. So I really wanted uh, a strong marriage with children. But yun ang mahalaga sa akin. You made this country proud, but more than that, you made a lot of people proud by just being you. I really do thank you. Talaga thank you all sa lahat na nangyari sa buhay ko. Naging parte sila sa magandang nangyari sa buhay ko. And I also would like to thank everybody for supporting my daughter. Mm -hmm. Talagang nakita ko yung pagmamahal at suporta ng bawat Pilipino. Grateful po ako sa lahat. Sa iyo, Kuya Boy, you, you have been so nice to my daughter. Of course. And to me, you know, ever since, I'm just so grateful. Kaya bless kayo eh. Mimi, ano ang Christmas wish mo? To be happy. You know, that every, wala sanang war, wala sanang gulo sa mundo. Sana nagmamahalan tayo. Because love is very important to me in life talaga. That makes me a different person. Alam mo, Mimi, dito sa palabas na ito, there was a discussion I had with Senator Pia and uh, Senator Alan. May mga pagkakataon pala talaga, and I'd like to share this with you also, Abraham, that we ask ourselves, do you want to be happy or do you want to be right? It's I will choose question. right. Because, you know, when you do right, you will feel happy. Wow. Wow. Uh, just to end this conversation, is it possible for Adam to join us? Uh, people, thank you so much. What an honor. Thank you very much, and Merry Christmas. Thank you, boy. Thank you know, you. I think if there was one word I used to describe you, it's uh, brilliant. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, you appreciate the friendship that you've, you've given my wife. And, of course, with you, because... But the last time I saw you, I think, was, what, ages ago? Yeah. Ages ago. <laughs> but I wish you well, and I wish you the best. Please, uh, Abraham, let's just greet everybody a Merry Christmas. As a family, please go ahead. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Um, Malagayang Pasko. Malag Malagayang Pasko. <laughs> um, yeah. Mahal kita. Mahal, mahal kita. Mimi, please, uh, batiin mo naman ang ating mga uh, nanonood at mga kaibigan. Opo, maligayang, maligayang Pasko po sa inyong lahat at manigong bagong taon po. At maraming salamat po sa pagmamahal na inahandog niyo po sa, sa akin at sa aking anak. At naway lahat tayo po maging maligaya. Hindi lang po sa Paskong to, pero sa habang tayo nabubuhay. Maraming salamat po. Maraming salamat. Mahal na mahal kita at mahal ko ang iyong pamilya. Adam, thank you so much. Abraham, thank you very much. Pleasure. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hi, people of the Philippines and people of the world. Hit the button below and you will be subscribing to the Boy Abunda Talk channel on YouTube. Let's keep talking. Kaibigan, tuloy ang usap.